Well, our top focus story this morning, there is no end to the unrest in Darjeeling. In fact, angry mobs at a police station located in Somada area in the town on fire on Sunday afternoon. The mob was returning after cremating two GJM activists who were killed in firing on Saturday. Meanwhile, the situation in the hill town continues to be tense with no supply of food entering the town. We are currently standing here in Sonada and as you can see behind me is the police check post which was set ablaze by angry protesters. The protesters were angry at the death of two Gorkhaland supporters who were allegedly shot dead by CRPF men. While returning from their cremation and last rites, these protesters set ablaze to this police station. Support has been gathering in and around Darjeeling area for a separate Gorkhaland state. Meanwhile, political blame game continues in the state as political leaders keep passing the buck. Listen in to some of the reactions on this. This political opportunism for short-term gains, you now BJP got an M member of parliament, Mamta Banerjee got an alliance with the same GGM in the 2011 to oust the left government and uh, Gorkha Jana Mukti Morcha got the GTA. But actually what happened in the, uh, at the ground level and what the people in Darjeeling got, so they are at the receiving end now. So that's why we are asking there should be a tripartite meeting again. It's not a question of uh, only state government because central government is very much party. But it is unfortunate that the BJP-led central government who promised them moon during the election and got successive two MPs, they are sitting idle. They cannot be a ringside viewer. It's a question of unity of a state, unity of the country. At the same time, Mamta Banerjee also just blaming the Gorkha Jana Mukti Morcha and sending paramilitary force or military or police is not going to help. Rather, this is going to deteriorate the situation. See, the situation in Darjeeling has escalated primarily due to the attitude of the West Bengal state government. The government should have initiated talks much earlier. Now when the violence has already spread, now Mamata Banerjee is asking for talks. So she is responsible for the violence in the hills. I think that uh, this kind of violence, however legitimate your view of what the issues are, is completely unjustified. It's also undemocratic and both sides should begin the process of showing restraint. If the matter can be resolved through dialogue, why reject that possibility?